Hello friends, so today what we're going to do is go over a pretty uh, common algorithm. This is the uh, peak, peak finding algorithm. So what we want to do in this is it's just in, in an array. Um, so if we had a peak, it would be in the example right here on line 6. Basically the peak of this array would be 3 because it fills the conditions such that the number preceding it and the number after it are smaller, so it's a peak. If you graphed it out, it would actually it would be a peak, you know. So um, a way of thinking about solving this uh, might lead you to, if it was a really long array, you might say like, well, we'll just iterate through the entirety of the array, and when we find something that meets this condition, we'll just return it. But that could be at the very end of the array. So the worst case scenario that you would get from that would be in a uh, linear time, so O of n time. But we can make it faster because the array is sorted up until the point where it has a midpoint, or sorted up until the point where it has a peak. So whenever you're dealing with sorted arrays and you're trying to cut down on time complexity, you can actually get to log in by using tried and true things like binary search. So this seems like a really good place to use binary search. Binary search is always such that you find a midpoint, you have a left and a right, and then you compare the two, and you usually cut the array in half as you're searching through it. So um, I'll write the algorithm out. It's not super hard, and uh, you can see it for yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a, uh, a variable for, uh, I'll just call it n, and that equals r.length. I like to do that so I don't have to keep typing out r.length, even though I don't think I'll have to type out r.length in this, array, in this uh, algorithm very much. So we'll go let left, and that's going to equal 0. You can call it start. You can call it left, whatever. I'm just going to call it left. And let right equal n minus 1. So it's basically r.length minus 1. So it's basically the last element within the array, right? So we want to start our while loop right here, and we would just want to say while left is less than right, we want to loop through this and, and keep iterating. Uh, first, we need to find our midpoint. So if you're dealing with an array like this, it would be four elements. Four divided by two would give you two. So that would be the, the midpoint. So um, what we're going to do is let's let's go let mid equal math.floor left plus right minus left divided by 2. Now, the reason I'm doing math.floor here is in case you had an odd number of elements. So if we had 5 and we were divided by 2, it'll give us 2.5. So um, that's why we do math.floor right there. And then uh, we'll do our if statement. So if r at left, or I'm sorry, r at mid is less than r at mid plus 1, that means that we're still actually going up trying to find the peak. Then what we want to do is set left equal to mid plus 1. So we want to move the left bound of the, uh, of the window all the way to the midpoint plus 1 because we know that it's sorted up until that point. Else, we'll just move right to equal mid. So we'll move the right bound portion of the window down to the midpoint. Ostensibly, we're just we're, we're chopping the array in half each time. That's how you're able to get that log in time complexity. And then down here, we'll just return. Uh, we'll do some interpolation right here. We'll say, uh, what can we say? We can say peak found at index. And then right here, you can just interpolate left because it would be the, the left is going to be the index that will find it. So right here, it should be index. The 3 is at index 0, 1, 2. So this should give us 2. So let's open our terminal here. We'll go node peak. Peak found at index, index 2 should be index. OK, so that works. Now let's. Uh, Let's do a different array, but in this one, what we're going to do is like kind of count up uh, five, six, and seven, and then we're going to unsort it after the peak is found. So three, uh, four, three, two, one. So you can see that right here, the seven is the peak of the array. So it should return that. Let's see. OK. Even though the ending of this might not be sorted, like if we go 6, 5, 4, 3, 4, 5, like that, 
even if it's not sorted, it, re it really doesn't matter because it's just going to find that first peak at 6, which is going to be right, right here. It's going to be the 7 at index 6 right there, right? So it's the first one that you're going from left to right that you're going to find. Um, let's do it like this. Let's say that the array was such that the, it was an empty array. Uh, so if we do that, it'll just return at zero, which is not what we want. So let's just write an if statement up here. We'll say just if r.link is equal to zero, we can just return null. And that's usually something you do. Well, just a little check, so it just returns null. Also, we can do right here, we can say, let's just say that it was one. It should it should still work if we just put one element in there. It should say that the peak is at index zero. Index zero, yeah, so that works. So let's do it to where the index is at the end. Nine would be the peak. Let's see if that works. And yeah, position eight, because it's on a zero index. So yeah, it's returning that. So um, that's how you do that. Uh, it's not super hard. Uh, this is only for sorted arrays, though. If you had an unsorted array, there's a different way to solve it, uh, which I'll probably make a tutorial for tomorrow. Um, that would involve checking to see if the left or the right side was bigger than the midpoint. And then if the left side was bigger, you would start searching to the left. If the right side was bigger, you start searching to the right. But I'll make a video tutorial for that tomorrow. But for right now, finding it of login time using binary search, not bad. All right, take it easy.